It's 11-11. Yes, it's the infinitism day. Infinitism is all about universe and yourself. Come, let's know more about infinitism and Mahatreya, diviner of the path. A path enabling people to embrace the best in every aspects of life. His approach towards life is in a way that appeals to heart and mind, explaining the why behind all the mysteries and ambiguity of life. Infinitism. It is about attaining success in life through cosmic presence relating to universe. It feeds the great hunger in world for a new way of life. It's not out there, it's in here. It helps in attaining your goal. A goal you're capable of. What are you capable of? Everything. Yes. You're capable of more than what you are and you deserve a universal life. Infinitism helps the students to primarily focus on their academics, health, cultivate good habits and virtues, grooming them into world-class citizens. Let's watch how these students got their breakthroughs by the path of infinitism and got benefited. You got to believe. Here we have Infinity students sharing their experiences for you. As a Mahatra follower, I will always never miss the Infinity paths on Sunday mornings. I accept that I'm a lazy guy. I wake up late for school, everything. But when it comes for Infinity path on Sunday mornings, I will be the first one to be awake in my home. When I was studying 10th standard and I was supposed to play for TDCA districts, and while practicing for my districts match, I was suffered a major injury which turned away my career from cricket. I was hospitalized for one month and 10 days I was kept in ICU. My dad took this problem to Mahatreya and Mahatreya prayed for me to get all right and come back again. After I became all right, I went and met Mahatreya and Mahatreya told me that Unna Adisha Unapi Ni Adi. He motivated me to again play cricket again but my parents didn't support me so I couldn't go for cricketing career again. That's what I believe from Mahatreya is that motivate others to do things. In their negative situations also you must go and talk positively what they have to do that you have to talk to them. And that was the one thing from Mahatreya and there are two more things that I've learned from Mahatreya. One is that I have to face my fear. You have to face your fear. We students fear of our examinations and our results and what does the parents do if you get low marks or what does the society think if you get low marks? Well, you should not fear about it. You shouldn't care what the society feels about us. A single person, we have to feel happier for what results we've got. And a single paper does not evaluate your life. And you think about you big people like Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg, they are school and college dropouts. Well, examinations doesn't decide their life. So you shouldn't fear your examinations. Your fear is that something you have to overcome to be successful in your life. Whatever you want to achieve, first find your fear, overcome it and then go for his success. And last thing that I learned from Mahathriya is that you shouldn't be one among the crowd. You should be one above the crowd. We students have many group projects to do and we think that our top of friends or our group leaders would do it. It's not like that. You should not be one among the crowd thinking that others will do it. You should be standing one above the crowd and you have to do for your own things. And you should always see for the betterment for your group students also. These are the three things that I wanted to talk today and three represents the Ratriya of our infinitism. Thank you so much. Are you an angry person and do you lack in time management? Here comes Shay who's going to talk about anger management and time management. Loving you so so much my Mahatriya. Ever since you have come into my life, my life have taken a turn around in many aspects of my life. The few points that I've learned from you have picked out are anger management, time management and always stand above the crowd and not in the crowd and also a point where it surprised me the lot that I can, I can, I can and I can. In terms of anger management, I used to have an anger at a point when if someone shouts at me, I used to go even more higher to cut it down. But after coming to infinitism, I have learned that it is wrong and I am started to working on it and from 80% if I had anger, now I have at only 30% and still working on to get it even little down. In terms of time management, I think 
it has taken a drastic aspect my time management is like almost 99% right i always try to get early as possible and to be there on proper time which has been given to me if it is 6 i will be there by 5:55 or 5:45 prachi's emotions has helped her in a right way let's ask her how wishing you most and more happy evening i'm prachi surana uh, from chinmaya vidyalaya i'm an infinities as i joined infini 14 uh it was the best thing ever i've done in my life best courses ever done in my life um the main thing i learned from it was because uh i i used to get angry like every time whatever my sister told yes i get angry i started working on it and now it's very less uh i would still work on it to just cut it off uh second thing i learned was my mother is my world he is my inspiration i want to become like him he's the you can't explain it um then uh, then we had so many people we we enjoyed a lot uh, we i i would share a bit like this uh, i was in a group where like people were really dominant but when mahatya said that uh, you know you should not betray friends uh, so i didn't want i i wanted to come out of the group basically because i didn't want to betray other friends who i spoke to So yeah I learned and one more thing which Matria said uh, catch off your emotions you become the worst person when your emotion uh, takes on you I agree to it I become the worst person when emotions uh, catch hold of me thank you your life your responsibility Vishal has started believing in my life my responsibility let's see happy evening I'm Vishal and uh, I'm here to talk about the two learnings which have helped me in my journey the two learnings which I didn't learn before infinitism was introduced in my life and how it actually became a big part of my life after infinitism the two things are uh, when face the fear for fear to go and the other thing it's my life and I should take my own responsibility so here's the incident um me um uh, dad actually told me to study so he will ask me questions because my exams was nearing um so I told my okay fine I'll study but by this time also I had been learning to face fear so he told me to study i didn't study um i was actually playing with my friend football um so he got really angry and he told me why did you lie to me that you didn't study and i told him back saying uh, i was scared to tell you then he replied by saying vishal learn to face fear because if you face fear you learn something out of it and it won't make the mistake again the second thing is it's if it's my life i should take my own responsibility so I'm actually going to Max Tuition where it's Max Tuition, right? So I I, I take uh, school studies um, lethargically. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to tuition. So I'll do well in my exams. But then when exam results came, I found out that I actually scored pretty low. So what I tried to do is um, I introspected myself and I found out it's my it's my life. I should take the responsibility. I should go home. I should practice the sums because I want to get my better at Max. These two things have been very prominent in my life. and it has made me much better person uh, loving you so much matria and i'll make sure i'll uh, make it very very big in life thank you attitude matters a lot expressing thoughts in a right way will guide you in a good manner feel happy with what you have let's hear this from preeti happy evening i'm preeti shridhar of class 12 infinitism has brought about several changes in me and some of them are I've understood that there are many perspectives to a situation and there are no right or wrong perspectives. I've understood that intelligence does not work in an emotional environment and hence I am abstaining from making any decisions in the situation. I've started focusing more on what I can give than what I can receive and hence I've started loving people equally irrespective of their reaction towards me. I've understood that attitudes do not care where I shape them but once shaped they do become my behavior either creating me or destroying me. I've understood and implemented that it does not matter what I feel within but what matters is the expression of my thoughts and feelings in a relationship. I've understood that it does not matter how much I have or what I have but what matters is what I do with what I have. I am going to make it very very big in life. Thank you and loving you so much Mahatria. A student and a football player talks about his passion, purpose in life and being responsible to be a better person. Let's see how Rishabh celebrates his life. Happy Infinitism Day my Mahatria. I feel so blessed to be connected with this path. I feel that this path has 
evolved me in many ways. I am grateful to my Mahatriya and my family that they have added value to my life and made my life so beautiful. Before coming into this path, my thoughts and my life wasn't directed. Most of the time, I was lazy, uh, casual, carefree and, and all that. But after coming into this path uh, and after starting meditation, and listening to Mahatma's videos and uh, listening to them in Infinity Path, I feel that I have become a much more better person and a responsible person. As Mahatma says, you should live your life with passion. Passion for excellence in sports, academics, creativity, music and etc. Uh, as you told, whatever we do, we should do the best. I have made my parents and my school proud by getting a Best Football Player Award, by becoming the best captain, getting the second rank in the school uh, Olympiad, got 92% in my uh, board exams. Thanking you so much Mahatriya, showing me that whatever we do, we should have a purpose in it. There are some values of Mahatriya that I have kept very close to my heart. It is better to have a bad name doing the right thing than to have a good name doing the wrong thing. I will always be noble-hearted and able-minded. I will celebrate my life to the fullest. As you always say, everyone deserves abundance and deserves most and more. As an infinitist, I will be responsible and spread happiness and love and uh, I'll make it very, very big in life. Bowing down to my Mahatriya, loving you so much. Let's see how meditation has benefited Bhumika. Loving you so much, my Mahatriya. My take was when exams come, I every time used to feel that the questions I do not know will appear for the exam and the answers for the questions I know will not come or I'll forget it. So this was the fear in me. I overcame it after I, fi I finished my Infini 11. My Sagesa helped me telling that you have to face the fear and the fear goes. Today I go to the examination and I fear and I face the fear and I have full faith that the questions I know will appear for the exam and I will do my best in the exam and even if the questions I do not know appear for the exam I know I'll improve myself the next time I understood says the fear and the fear goes my next transformation was I thought meditation was for oldies grandmas and grandpas earlier I cannot even sit for two minutes without opening my eyes and see what's going around I always had the feeling to see what was going around and why should I sit in silence for so many hours. But after Infinity 11, when I started to meditate, I had a lot of difference in me. I understood that sitting in silence will create miracles. Now, I can sit in silence for more than an hour. I just experienced the good in it. I started focusing on things and now I can concentrate even more with what I had before than what I did before. Want to inspire others at a young age? Let's hear this 13 year old story. I'm Sukirti. Happy 11-11 everybody. Loving you most and more. The greatest learning taught by Mahatriya is that be the 13 year old where all the 13 year old look up to you. And this has impacted in my life beautifully. For instance, I have won the dance competition conducted by a great organization called Abhay and I won the shloka competition also. I thank Mahatriya for this. Let's hear Lekha who feels like a hero. Happy morning friends. My name is Lekha. Once Mahatriya said that there are two ways to feel like a hero. The right way and the wrong way. If you choose the right way to feel like a hero, you not only feel like a hero but you are also created in the process. If you choose the wrong way to feel like a hero, you do feel like a hero, but you are destroyed in the process. Once, there was a book fair in my school. A few of my classmates were stealing books. I was standing right over there, but I did not touch a single book. Then they were caught and they were taken to the principal. It would have been so easy for me to just take a book, but I did not. I chose to feel like a hero in the right way. This has boosted my self-confidence. I am so grateful to my Guru Mahatriya and I as an infinitist will make it very 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 big in life. Learn to rectify your mistakes and see how you can grow from it. Chetna has started rectifying her mistakes. Let's hear from her. Loving you so much Mahatriya. Happy Infinitism Day. Love you so much. I am Chetna Poturu and I am studying an MOP Vaishnav, a BCom first year, Marketing Management. Thank you so much for giving infinitism for us. I am what I am. It's only because of infinitism. 
when i was in the early stages of my schooling i was used to get bullied by my friends i was so shy to even speak up and i used to feel very fear to even uh, ask doubts to my teachers and that fear is gone it's only because after me doing infinity 11 so after that i started speaking up i'm no more an introvert i'm expressive i'm an extrovert i can even go to the debate competitions i can go to oratorical competitions i can speak up and when i i'm basically a chess player when i go for matches i used to even feel very scared to even call the orbiter and tell that i won the match or something happened i was so i was so fearing the fear is no more in me i'm no more a dark book and one more uh, big learnings uh, from in 11 uh, ways is my life is my responsibility and no blaming is allowed and uh, this one uh, i me and my dad are generally tom and jerry so we we fight for each and everything and i used to convince my dad that wasn't my mistake it was on the consequence or situation or it was him i was never ready to accept my mistake and after doing in 11 ways after learning my life is my responsibility i should accept the mistakes and i should forgive and i should drop hurt by forgiving guilt i started accepting things and the things started going smoother and easier for everyone thank you so much mahatri i love you so much you are going to make very big in life think big and make the best out of what you have here we have sneha who's going to talk on this happy evening my name is sneha i just would like to share a few things that i had learned and implemented and made a conscious effort in my attitude so one of the things were uh, that i try to utilize what i have uh, rather than thinking of resources that i don't have so these are mostly work related so when i did a project i kind of try to think of the resources how i could how best i can use it uh, rather than you know thinking of the resources that i didn't have and another thing was to try to do my best and think big rather than thinking small steps i wanted to think big and try to do that big so these are the two learnings i try to implement and consciously make an effort to continuously use it at work thank you sunidhi talks on attitude emotions and being positive in life happy infinity season day everyone wishing you all most and more and loving you all so much so today i'm going to share my journey as an infinity thief so my journey basically started because of my parents as they have been infinity thieves for the past 15 20 years i have started my journey as an infinity thief infinity thiefism has been a very huge part of my life it has changed me completely as a person it has made me more positive it has changed my attitude towards things it has made me feel more positive and better about myself it has made me believe me in myself our mentor mathri has taught us such amazing things on how to live life and i definitely think everyone should implement it in their day to day lives but two things that i have taken up and that i implement every day is firstly mathri has shared that you know when you are emotional you should not take decisions because you generally tend to take the wrong decisions when you are emotional you shouldn't take decisions you should wait for your emotions to settle down and then take decisions for example if you fought with your dear friend and you tend to take decisions when you are emotional you may lose your friend so you should wait for your emotions to settle down and then go and talk to the friend and sort out things secondly mathriya says it's up to you about how you want your day to go on if you've thought that your day is going to go well everything's going to be right and spot on and if that is your attitude towards the day you can be sure that your day is going to go very well everything is going to be fine and you know very well so yeah these are the two things that i have learned that i've implemented hope you learn something and implement it in your day to day lives uh, wishing you all an happy infinity season day once again thank you here comes rakshit with his innocent speech happy infinity season day everyone Infinitism has played a really important role in my life. It has taught me the eleven ways of life. Without infinitism, I wouldn't have been who I am right now. Thank you. Everybody wants to be a leader, but how? Let's see this video on how to become a good leader and that how developing various skills will help you to become one. Wishing you all a very happy Infinitism Day. It's truly a blessing to have been connected to this path. During my course days, when I was sitting there. Neither did I realize the sacredness of this path nor did I know that the way I was going to look at life was going to change completely and here I am today talking about how this path has changed so much about me just to share a few incidents from my own personal life earlier I used to think about god only when I needed something but now 
Gratitude has become such an integral part of my life. Day in and day out, by practicing gratitude, I only realize so much good that has been happening in my life and it feels so special to be so blessed in so many positive ways. Just to share another incident from my life, um, earlier I was very scared and nervous to speak on the stage. And then this path had taught me, face the fear, it goes. Hide the fear, it grows. Having learned this, I decided to take up the opportunity that came my way to host an event. I prepared and practiced hard and by His grace, the entire event was successful. And to add the cherry on the cake, the chief guest himself had personally complimented me and asked if I was a professional. I felt so humbled and grateful at that point and I realized that only when we step out of our comfort zone do we actually grow. This path had also taught me to push push yourself and move out of the comfort zone and stand one above the crowd. Having learned this, I started looking for opportunities to implement the same and then in my college went on to become the class representative of my class in the first year and in the following year I went on to become the secretary of the dance team and continued to grow by becoming the core head of my commerce stream. So, uh, all this had been possible only because of the leadership, communication and public speaking skills that I want you all to know were cultivated right here. Really, really grateful and thankful to this path that so much has changed about me. It's truly a blessing to have been connected to this path. All I would like to say is stay connected to this path and you're sure to be on the right track. Signing off as a proud infinityist, wishing you all most and more in all spheres of your life and a very happy infinitism day. Thank you. Priyanka feels blessed on talking about the beauty of miracle. Loving you all, infinitism has taught me so much in life. It has taught me how to live life. Um, ever since I was seven, I, as a kid, I didn't have any perspective towards life. And ever since then, my life has been full of miracles and I'm so grateful to my Mahatriya for carrying me through and being with me every second. Even though I'm in London, the values that were introduced to me by infinitism always stay with me and they keep me grounded and they keep reminding me that I have to make it very, very, very big in life and I have to make my Mahatriya proud and I want to make my Mahatriya proud and that's what keeps me going. And I'm so, so grateful and I feel so blessed that I am in this under this beautiful umbrella, blue umbrella, and that just reminds me that I have to be grateful for everything in life. And gratitude has been introduced to me and it's in my heart forever now because of my Mahatriya. So thank you so much, Infinitism. Loving you so, so, so much. Are you confused about balancing your studies and passion? Let's hear from Vinisha who is a medical student and a classical dancer who is going to talk to you on a power of belief and a balance between career and passion. Happy Infinitism Day. Loving you all so much. I am Vinisha Kadiravan. Many of Mahatriya's teachings have changed my life in so many ways. And one such important thing which changed the aspect by which I see my life now is the power of belief. Many of us have as children intend to do this. We pray something to one God and if it doesn't happen we change our gods. But Mahatriya once said, it is not the power of your God, but it is the power of your belief in your God makes your things work. So after that, I've raised the bar of believing and I can see things coming in my way. And I've also changed the perception towards belief and God. So now, whatever I take up in my life, I started believing that I can definitely do it no matter what. So another point all of us as students face is the balance between our studies and co-curricular activities. I am doing my MBBS and also I'm a classical dancer. So the struggles which I face on a day-to-day -day basis is very difficult. Uh, people ask how I balance between my MBBS career and also my passion of Bharatanatyam, how I do my programs on a regular basis. But uh, the infinite path which we watch on every Sunday, that one Sunday can uplift your whole week. It doesn't really matter where we watch uh, infinite path. It might be in front of Mahatriya at uh, Harinarayana or in Satyam or at home watching live webcast. But the things which Mahatriya says goes in so much that the challenges which we face on a day-to-day -day basis doesn't really seem so big. It stabilizes my mind to face the day-to-day -day challenges. So thank you so much Mahatriya. Loving you so, so, so much. A place for everything and everything in its place. Friends, this video is for all of us.
I feel infinitely blessed to be part of infinitism. I had been to Infinity Eleven, and I had learned so many things in those eleven days than I had learned in my past eleven years of my life. The first thing that I learned over there was systemization. That had got a sea change in me. And the second thing was personal hygiene. It had made me much healthier. And the third thing, a place for everything and everything in its place. After learning that. I had kept all the things in the respective places and it made me more punctual and I didn't get late for anything. Finally, I would like to thank our beloved Mahatriya. I know this thanks will be meaningful only when live by the way he has taught us. I promise that one day I will make him proud. Amit Chopra from Sydney has experienced miracle. Yes, you heard me right. Miracle. Loving you so much my dearest Mahatriya. It's been an incredible 6 years since the birth of Infinitism and the last 6 years have been nothing but a miracle for me. The path has been such an incredible source of faith and abundance in every sphere of my life. Words will never be able to express my gratitude and love for you and for the beautiful path of Infinitism. Among the many many amazing transformations and learnings that have guided me for these past few years. My two principles that have carried me through for these last few years are these: the best of my efforts plus his energy, plus my faith in his energy, gives miraculous possibilities. And second, if I don't have something to stand for, I will fall for everything, whether it be my academic success or my passion to be the best in whatever I do. or the best of the opportunities that miraculously come my way or the ease with which the minimum of the best of my efforts create the maximum possible results or my striving to stay grounded to my values and my principles or just this beautiful life that you've gifted me with all of this has been possible just and just through this path and I'm so so grateful for it I promise to keep growing into the best version of myself and strive to make this world a better place. Thank you so much for blessing us all with this beautiful path, Matria. Loving you beyond words. Signing off as one among the many many stars of your future. Loving you so much. Filled with gratitude, dear Matria, for blessing us in most and more ways. I would like to share my Matria. One, we begin our day by affirming day by day in every way i'm becoming most and more healthy wealthy loving blissful spiritual to the acr principle accept the unchangeable change the changeable and remove myself from the unacceptable three without him i cannot without me he will not both of us together miracles can happen here comes a little one who feels very blessed to be a part of the infinity family i am the luckiest in my family because matriya's grace came into my family even before when i was born i thank god for giving matriya in our life i will make my parents and matriya proud now i am in a big family he who showers the abundance of love on me infinity kids of god kids i am proud to be an infinity kid kirtana feels overwhelming Wanna know why? Happy Infinitism Day, Mahatreya. I am incredibly fortunate to have get, gotten connected with you in the last year. The moments and time that I have personally spent with you might be limited and might be countable, but the experiences have been abundant. And in fact, more importantly, the change from that has been unmeasurable. Mahatreya, I, I. often try to share with you the big transformations and changes that happened in my life um but those are the big things i i sometimes you know i don't have the capability of explaining the little small details every little change that our transformation that happens through the day on a daily basis that that is incredible in a sense um and everything that i'm saying here you know accounts to my the special and the most um 
personal moments that I shared and experienced in the womb of silence um, during my first HDB experience. Um, so and so that I cannot wait and I'm counting down my days to my next one. So Madhya, thank you. I cannot express my gratitude enough to you and the Infinities Movement for transforming my life, changing in ways that I have not known before. So thank you, thank you so much Mahatya. Love you, love you so much. Thank you. Silence. Let's see how to practice silence from Sunil. Happy Infinitism Day. I'm going to talk about one thing that Infinitism has given me and has changed my life and it continues to change my life on and on. It's probably one of those uh, learnings that sets everything right, works on all the spheres of your, of your being and of your personality. At the age of 14, Infinitism and Matriya taught me to practice silence on a daily basis. It was taught to us as a when we were doing our Infinity 11 and I innocently took it and just practiced it on a daily basis. Thankfully, uh, it's become a very sincere practice, so I do it every day, uh, wherever I am, all traveling around the world, school, college, wherever, I ensure that my silence time is always uh, done and it's, uh, it's given that priority. That's how it began and uh, what silence really does is that it works on your mind, your emotions and your entire personality. So when I have moved from school to college and when I used to practice silence, I used to see that many, many students I used to have these issues, problems such as even addiction sometimes and I used to wonder how come they are facing all this and, and the answer was right there, it was very simple. Daily practice of meditation would have actually changed a lot of things. Meditation also uh, helps a person to be calm and peaceful in situations. So where I'll see a lot of uh, people going up and down on their emotion, I'd see myself on a stable basis. Ir irrespective of the events that happened outside, the, my insides, my, my, my world was always calm. So it's, it's a very powerful practice. More than anything, I'd like to also point out that uh, the practice of uh, silence also works on the energy levels of a person. So I think when a person gets his or her energy levels right, everything else it works on your physical realm, your mental realm, your emotional realm, your intellectual realm, everything starts to get right. So once that's right, you attract the right people, right friends, right events, right opportunities. One more uh, thing I would like to point out about meditation is that uh, it, it's, it's an ongoing teaching. You just don't take it and apply it and go ahead with it. it. It always keeps teaching. It's a constant teacher. So I'm really, really grateful for what uh, Matra and Infinitism has taught me about silence and really, really uh, pray that more and more of us uh, practice meditation on a daily basis. Thank you. What a mature kid's my mind. Let's hear these two talk on forgiveness for their mistakes. Happy evening, Mahatreya. We all love you so much. We do infinite prayer every day. If you make a mistake, we will go to the puja room and pray forgiveness from you. We are all eagerly waiting for infinite 11. Successful people like Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, Mother Teresa were able to attain success through awakening. Awakening is the realization of oneself to encounter challenges and execute them. Let's learn to face challenges and be successful too. In the entire world, India has the highest youth population of 356 million between the age group of 10 to 24. It is important for youths like us to take responsibilities for a better future. Infinitism inspires youth like us to take such responsibilities. Responsibilities to choose what is right and not what is easy. Responsibilities to choose the right ways to feel like a hero. Responsibilities to be one above the crowd, inspiring fellow youths. Responsibilities to make our parents, teachers and India proud. On this Infinitism Day 11-11, let's promise to ourselves that we will make it very, very, very big in life and make India an example to the entire world. To be benefited like us through the inspiration of Infinitism, here are a few easy ways to get connected. You can enter the world of Infinitism. You can watch the live webcast of the Infinity Path at infinitism.com. Every Sunday morning from 6.45 to 9 a.m. Start inspiring the most and more from this Infinitism Day. Once again, Happy Infinitism Day. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey,
Happy Infinity Sunday.